The go-ahead runs on first for Italy with nobody out in the home half of the seventh. Two doubles tonight. A home run and four driven in last night. Two more driven in tonight. Oh, and that one got him on the helmet. Oh, he keeps his feet, but he is headed straight towards the dugout, and you hate to see that. Oh, there's blood. Oh, boy. That one got away. The first pitch, John DeMarte threw this inning, glanced off the catcher's mitt and went straight to the backstop. He clearly came in. I hate to say with butterflies, but he was a bit jittery with that first pitch, and now that you've seen a couple of his first half dozen pitches get away from him, I wonder if he'll be able to recalibrate. That one got Colabello on the nose. Knocked the helmet right off. I think it hit the underside of the bill of his batting helmet. And he'll apply some ice. You don't want to have to take him out of the game. Fortunately, it was kind of a, a glancing blow, if you can call it that. Not the kind of pitch that hits you in the head and you drop straight down to the ground. Oh, but he's dripping pretty good. And just not an ideal situation for anybody. I wonder how long he'll be allowed to try and get the bleeding to stop. Because you can see after the first 30 seconds, nothing had changed. That's when you need the boxing corner team out there. You can just see how close to his left eye seems like the contact was made. Good camera work from our guys, but not something you want to spend a long time looking at, especially when you think about the scenario now, runners on first and second with nobody out in the bottom of the seventh. Italy has not led in this game. They trailed 2-0 after the top of the fourth, and it was Colabello who tied the game. And don't get me mistaken, I'm not in any way indicating that that was in any way intentional. It wasn't. We've seen a bit of a wild streak here from DeMarte. As you go frame by frame, you watch it just knock the helmet off from the bottom. But Calabello with the wherewithal to just walk towards the dugout and ask for his cut to be addressed. One thing this does do, this delay, as we'll watch the replay again, is allow Israel some time to get somebody up in the bullpen if they so choose, which for the moment it doesn't look like they've gotten anybody going. Got a couple of wild relievers. Zach Weiss, who entered the game in the bottom of the fourth and struck out Federico Celli to end the fourth, then went on to pitch the fifth and the sixth, walking a total of four, giving up both runs, both runners having reached via the base on balls. He only gave up the one hit, the double to Colabello, and he struck out four, sorry, five, so it's hard to say that he was ineffective, but really when you come into the game with a two-nothing lead, walk four guys and leave with the game tied at two, you can't really describe it as any other way or in any other way, I should say. And I wonder if that got the shoulder, too, is that zoomed-in angle. Almost made it look like it brushed Colabello's shoulder before it went on to get him in the nose. Oof. Not a sight for the squeamish, that's for sure. Colabello goes into the dugout. I'm not sure the purpose exactly. But again, Italy doesn't want to take him out if he doesn't want to come out. But we wait for the reemergence of Chris Colabello out of the third base side dugout. We're maybe five minutes into this delay, and I'm hearing there's a 10 minute limit for how long this delay can go on before Chris Colabello will have to leave the game if he's unable to take first base. 10 minutes is the maximum time limit. It's reasonable. You never want to take out a player if you don't have to. Still no sight of Colabello, who I think has been taken into the room to have his wound addressed. And I don't think he's staying in the game. We've got a pinch runner headed up the first baseline. It's Bomaggi.